I have had the distinct privilege of producing and performing in the digital space for the past six years. A medium that I frankly never imagined myself ever excelling in as an artist. However, as a queer person of color, it was through online platforms that the full breadth of my personality and power could first be seen and heard, and I am humbled by the privilege of influence I've gained as a filmmaker by simply expressing my true, unmitigated self through videos. But the single greatest privilege of where I'm currently at in my career is the unique opportunity I've had to communicate directly with LGBTQ plus youth, not just through social media, but this year, while on an international tour, I had the chance to come face to face with thousands of young queer people and hear their stories, all of which I strongly related to. They are my inspiration. So much of my work is dedicated to exploring our collective queer journey. And recently with my coming out video, I was able to finally share my own story with the world. Behind the scenes of that video, I mentioned a letter that I had written to my future self when I was 13 years old. One that was mailed to me after I graduated high school. In that letter, I had written only four words. Are you finally happy? I know, that's some dark shit, right? <laughs> that's why I'm in Hollywood. <laughs> when I read that when I was 18, I was still, in many ways, a sad, angry, and scared little gay Asian boy in Texas. So I couldn't dignify the question with an honest response, but I figured that <clears throat> 20 years later, while I have this stage, I should finally write back to my 13-year-old self. <laughs> if I spend so much time giving thoughtful advice to young people who have struggled, struggled like me, it's about time I share that advice with the person who once needed to hear it the most. <clears throat> Dear 13, hello, it's me, 33. How's 1999? <laughs> I know the news cycle must seem pretty crazy, what with Y2K and Columbine and the president's impeachment and all this talk about Armageddon. Enjoy the peace and quiet while you can. <laughs> it's been 20 years, and I think I'm ready to answer your question. Are you finally happy? But before I do, I'd like to share some important advice that I wish I was given when I was your age. <clears throat> Dear 13, you are not a bad person because of your race or sexuality. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being a queer person of color. Please consider that perhaps you perceive yourself as a bad person because your personality is terrible. Okay, we were all shitty kids, you know. <laughs> Dear 13, you do not have to change yourself in any way in order to fit in and make friends. Especially ones who are mean to you behind your back. You can rest assured that one day, oh, you'll gain lifelong friendships with a group of loving gays who are openly mean to your face. <laughs> They'll just end their insults with the word girl. <laughs> like, those shoes were a choice, girl. Dear 13, 
The popular kids tell you that your love of superhero comics and fantasy novels and cartoons is nerdy. In the future, every superhero comic and fantasy novel and cartoon will become massively popular franchises. <laughs> the moral of the story, nerds are always right. Okay, I'm definitely in the Bay Area. <laughs> Dear 13, coming out is a tough, continuous journey and not a singular event. Not everyone will be on board or even deserve to be on that ride with you. You are the sole architect of your coming out process and how you ultimately identify. A similar, very serious, continuous journey that you'll carry with you for the rest of your life is the perpetual question, should I bleach my hair? In that instance, the answer is always no. No. You'll like it for a week, and then you'll hate it. Girl. <laughs> Dear 13, you believe that your parents will disown you when you tell them that you're gay. Some of your family will no longer remain your family. But remember that those who truly love you will grow with you in their own time. And one day, your very Korean mother will finally learn what the L in LGBT stands for. And it stands for lesbian. And she will proudly inform others that her son is not an L, but he is the G. <laughs> Dear 13, I know you are competitive and fought, fight all the time with your sisters, but try, just try to be kind to them. Because one day, they will know no kindness after they find out that you look way better than them in makeup and dresses. <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> Dear 13, be confident in pursuing the arts and following your dreams because your self-expression is valid and worthy of your life's dedication. I can tell you that after 20 years of experience with confidence because you are absolute trash at everything else. Like my boyfriend is a consultant, which means he gets paid to tell people how to do the jobs that they were hired to know how to do. I don't know. I don't know what y'all do. <laughs> Literally no idea. Dear 13, <clears throat> and this is a good one, every single fashion choice you will make between the years 2000 and 2010 will be incorrect. <laughs> the deeper the V, the further from God. All of us did that. We're all responsible. <laughs> Dear 13, the ignorant people in your hometown are not above you. They are simply a few steps behind you. <laughs> Dear 13, the things that make you different, that the bullies have forced you to believe, are the worst parts about you, are in fact the best most beautiful and brilliant parts of your humanity. And one day, they will see you shining bright. And when you see them, you won't even remember their names. <laughs> Dear 13, I know that you're in Texas and you don't understand why people care so much about watching sports, but one day, all of those nights when you were surrounded by drunk, screaming, passionate fans will make total sense when a show called RuPaul's Drag Race premieres. <laughs> Dear
Dear 13, you are not unlovable. You are worthy of love. And one day you'll fall in love with a wonderful man who will care deeply for you. You'll even have the chance to get legally married, just like your parents did. You'll also be able to spring a surprise divorce on one another that will tear your entire family apart, just like your parents will do during Christmas dinner in 1999. Spoiler alert. Dear 13, I like totally get that you're super excited about the Star Wars prequels, but learn how to manage your expectations. <laughs> Dear 13, you are never, ever alone. There are so many diverse, fabulous individuals who will enrich your worldview, who identify as queer who are charting a very similar journey. You might not have met them yet, but just know that they all share the same incredible taste in music and are all ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously good looking. <laughs> and finally, Dear 13, to answer your question, are you finally happy? No, I don't think I am. Because it's never been about happiness, per se, which I realize now is more of a lofty, aspirational goal than a state of mind. It's about you understanding that your deep sadness will not always feel like a condition of your unique identity. It will become a source of inspiration and of pride a badge of honor symbolizing our community's constant evolution. Because we grow and learn from our pain. We harness that darkness and transform it into empowerment. We turn our tragedy into triumph. And we take other people's hate and respond to it with righteous love. And I know you're unhappy 13-year-old me, and here I am at 33, still admittedly anxious and self-loathing and constantly an emotional wreck, but I am happy to be free to speak my mind. I am happy to be able to dress however I want and to love whoever I choose. I am happy to be able to tell you, a scared gay child, that yes, it does get better, but not because you become more happy, it's because you finally accept and become 100% yourself. <laughs> Flaws and all. And that one day you realize that being queer was never a flaw to begin with. It is in fact, one of the greatest sources of light and love and joy that you will learn to draw the purest form of happiness from for the rest of your life. And I am most happy that one day you will turn into me and together we will face our totally normal everyday and happiness together as a strong, fully realized, proud gay man. Thank you.